there is drama. <laughs> These girls are like continuing to stir the pot. This is ridiculous. It's not fair. That is so frustrating. I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm literally getting slaughtered. She's a dramatic bitch. Oh, blah, blah, blah. She's crazy. She's emotionally unstable. It's ridiculous. You said there's someone here no. that wasn't here for the right no. reasons. No, so you I don't think that he was going to ask you? Oh boy, here to break down Monday night's episode of The Bachelor is writer and reporter Jody Guillaume and the host of The Doctors and former Bachelor himself, Dr. Travis Stork. Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks nice for having me. You. Okay, the episode starts out with Alea drama. She comes back, Peter gives her a rose and then eliminates her again because the women are very upset. It seems like a lot of the women don't really trust Peter right now. I mean, how is he going to be able to regain the trust here, Travis? I think he'll be fine. They seem to like him plenty. <laughs> In fact, they may like him too much. No, I, look, my wife and I had a lot of fun watching this season just because there's so much drama. And the good news for him is I think he does a great job of acknowledging when the situation gets out of hand. I really do applaud him. He, he goes in and acknowledges I messed up calls himself out, he says I'm gonna try to do better because having been the bachelor, I will acknowledge that there's no right or wrong way to do things and a lot's happening at once. And bringing someone back on, that was a bold move. Yeah. I, I, the reason I was interested to tune in early is because I could not figure out what he was going to do. Right. So I, ultimately I think he made the right decision. He'll be just fine with the other. It's okay. one of those things where, yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen. And I've never felt more of a sense of, he might lose them here. Like he's losing the crowd, mm -hmm. but he acknowledged it and he had remorse. All right, here we go. <laughs> First row ceremony, Peter eliminated Deandra. She was completely blindsided, seemingly. Jody, what do you think? How strong was Deandra and Peter's connection compared to the other women? I mean, we hadn't seen too much of her, so I wasn't surprised to see her go, but I also wanted her to stay because she just seemed like, I don't know, maybe a little bit more stable than some of the other more girls. Grounded or yeah. Something, yeah. And so I was like, they I saw more of a potential than I see with some of the girls that he did end up keeping. Yeah. yeah. Okay, moving forward, they go to Costa Rica, which is a lot of fun. Oh, Sydney gets the first one on one. They explore the jungle, they get to see waterfalls. They seem to have a really great connection here. Travis, what's your thoughts on Sydney and this connection they have? He did say that she's the best kisser. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I missed that part. Okay. But, hey, kissing is huge. So, <laughs> once the you physical, The physical chemistry is obviously very much there. And I kind of like that he said, like, you're a mystery to me. I don't really know you. Because as a viewer, I'm like, same. I agree. I don't know you at all. So, it was nice to see them kind of bond. But I, I'm not totally convinced with them. I didn't really feel the emotional connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. seems surface to me too. Mm -hmm. Let's move ahead to this. The women uh, go on this group date. They pose for Cosmopolitan Magazine. Victoria F was the winner. Uh, ends up making out with Peter, winning the competition. And of course, we know what's happened since then. But do you feel like Jody, um, or I'm sorry, that Victoria's had this sort of change of heart? I don't know. She seems so much more bold now than at the beginning. Was the, it an act at the start with this whole shy, I'm afraid of the spotlight? I think it might be a little bit of an act. I think she was kind of playing like the shy, quiet girl. But then also now they're a couple weeks in, so she could just be a little bit more comfortable with the process. But like, yeah, she was not holding back. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would add to that. When you first show up and you're on The Bachelor, whether you're The Bachelor or one of the women, it's overwhelming. And a lot of times the uh, individuals who are a little more demure early on will open up over time. And get comfortable on their skin in that situation. Right, and yeah. that's why early on it's so difficult because you could very well let someone go who is stable yeah. and quite frankly a great catch, but maybe she doesn't shine because yeah. she is more demure and um, it may take a few weeks to come out of the shell. Well, it's kind of like Kelly. So let's talk about the Kelly date. I'm not sure if you saw that one, Travis, but basically Kelly was, she's very mature and he's kind of not sure where he stands with her. You know, she knows what she wants. She's kind of irked that Peter rewarded the drama. Kelly was initially a front runner, but where do we think she stands now? So here's the, I need to look at pictures because when there are this many people, <laughs> yeah. I don't know names so well. So is that? That's Kelly. That's yeah. Kelly. 
So basically, <laughs> Jody, what do you think? Um, I, you're, you're, a, you're like representing like half the guys know, in the country I, I mean, that watch the show. When I watch like, it, wait, it's, it's on and it's entertaining, but it's not as though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of brunettes and a lot of vlogs. I'm speaking for so yeah. many people right now. <laughs> um, I think that this was a very real date. I loved how honest Kelly was when Peter was kind of calling her out for pulling away. She was very much like, yeah, you know what? I did do that. And I was like, that's like, honesty is so important in these situations. And I felt like them being able to kind of confront the issue. Now they can move forward and I'm excited to see where their bond goes. All right, let's get to the main event here. Serious drama between Kelsey and Tammy. Tammy also had some drama with Sydney and Lexi and Victoria P. Everyone started with her allegedly spreading a rumor about Kelsey having a drinking and pill popping problem and drama ensued. Watch this. I was concerned because Peter needs to know. Peter needs to know what? I don't bring up anyone to him. I want to talk to him about us. I want to see him tonight. I don't have a rose. I haven't had a one-on-one. -on -one. So, like, when I'm with Peter, I literally say zip not. I, the last yeah. thing in my mind to tell him is, like, Timmy, because I, I could not want to talk to him. But you brought up Alea. He brought up Alea. He brought up Alea. So don't yeah. you ever try me one more time, you Timmy. You shut the I did it. There was people <laughs> in that group day, and you said, there's someone here no. that wasn't here for the right no. reasons. No, you I didn't. You don't think that he was going to ask no, I you? Didn't. No, I didn't, Timmy. Somebody yelling? Yeah. It's like, I want to know, but I don't want to know. Uh, yeah, stay out of it is the best. <laughs> Travis, tell us this. As The Bachelor, from that perspective, do you want to know what's going on in the house, or do you want to just keep it... Forget that, like, just keep it one-on-one. -on -one. First of all, thank God I'm married. I cannot do... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Yeah, right. I think it's a little bit dangerous if you start to get involved in too much of that drama because it does affect your opinion, your mood. And honestly, what happens is you go from having fun and getting to know people and everything becomes so serious. And that's... Watching that part last night... It was so dramatic and everything was so serious that it no longer looked like anyone was enjoying their yeah. experience. Oh, and, and, yeah. and not getting, it was no longer getting to know each other because everything was just damage control, damage control. And all that infighting, all it does is it, it, if you're one of those women, you're taking your eye off the prize. If you want to be with Peter at the end, all of that fighting, all it does is it just distracts not only you, but more importantly, him. Yeah. He doesn't want to yeah. He doesn't want to go sit down and have a conversation with you about the other women and your problems with the other women. Right. It's, yeah. it's off-putting and it's not, a, it's not a good look. Well, it seems like he really wants to get through it because he cancels the cocktail party and then goes straight to the rose ceremony where McKenna and Tammy actually do something that usually is not done. They interrupt the rose ceremony to talk to him. Jody, what did you think of this tactic? Uh, I mean, by that point, I was so over the drama <laughs> that I was like, can you guys just stay stand, like stay still? Um, I kind of understood maybe why Tammy would want to do it because her name had been thrown around a little bit. But McKenna, come on. I was not, I was like, girl. And again, the other girls weren't pleased, so now she's making enemies, so there's going to be more drama. I didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah. And I just need to throw out there, I enjoyed the cocktail parties that we had back in Paris many, many years ago, but Peter must throw one hell of a cocktail party because <laughs> there are some really upset women that they didn't have <laughs> when they don't party. have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, yeah, I want to go to that cocktail party. Next level. Can yeah. I get a rose? Yeah. <laughs>